welcome back to another sewing tutorial with me. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install an invisible zipper. Uh, zipper. It's a fan favorite for dresses, skirts, tops, and even for home decor items like um, like tropings. Right? It really gives your garment that seamless finish. It almost looks like um, you know, there's no zip there. And it is contrasted to the last tutorial that I gave, which was about um, a decorative visible zip. And if you're interested in, um, in seeing how to install a decorative uh, uh, visible zipper, then click on the card um, right here to uh, to watch that tutorial. But today we're going to be focusing on that beautiful invisible zipper. And to install an invisible zipper, here are a few things that you need. So you need your garment, um, your, key, your pieces of garment, which is usually two pieces that you're trying to join together with your zipper. You do need an invisible zipper, and, and this is how an invisible zipper looks. So typically when you see a zipper, it, it looks like that. But for this invisible zipper, this is actually the front and that is the back. And that's why when you install it properly, um, it, you hardly even see the zipper teeth. And when you open it, you can do that. And then when you zip it back together, you're supposed to put your garment so close that it's virtually invisible. You need a ruler for sure. I, um, for uh, installing zippers, I like to rule lines and I like to stay within the lines that I rule. So it is a good idea to always mark where you want your zipper to go because it definitely helps to get a nicer, clean um, finish. Of course, you need a marker and also a ruler. And I think the most important thing that you need is really an invisible zipper foot. This, um, these are very cheap. But the way you identify them is it looks like that. There is a hole where your needle goes and under it, there's like a section uh, with a line in the middle and that helps you to sew either side of the zipper or garment. And that line in the middle really helps to push away the zipper teeth so you can sew as close to the teeth as possible. This is the easiest way to inst install invisible zippers um, and it, it helps you to get it right all the time. So I definitely, um, recommend that if you're new to sewing or if you've even been sewing for a long time and you love installing invisible zippers that you get an invisible zipper foot. Honestly these things are so cheap that you know you can just go ahead and buy it right now and I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description uh, box below if you wanna if you wanna buy it. I uh, I bought mine from a uh, uh, from um, from Amazon. So ironing the two sides of the garment definitely gives you that very nice and neat edge. And let me show you how the zipper is going to go in. Remember that when you install the zipper, you don't see the zipper teeth. So just imagine that you have the zipper in there like that. And then your garment is sitting right on top of the zipper like that. And then you don't see the zipper. That's the whole idea of having an inv invisible zipper is that your two garments barely touch and it gives this seamless continuous um, look to your garment. So now that we know how that is going to work out when we're done installing it, let's talk about a little bit of some techniques that you have to take note of. So invisible zippers are best installed when the two pieces of your garment are still apart. Remember uh, in the last uh, tutorial for visible decorative zippers, you actually do um, sew the rest of your garment together before you actually install the zipper. But if you want to have you know, success every time you install an invisible zipper, it is best to install it when the two sides of your garment has not been joined together in any way. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is that it's always good to lay it down like this because it helps you to figure out what the next steps are. So you, you put your zipper the way it's gonna be when your garment's finished. And then you put the, the fabric on top of the zipper. So I'm just gonna move it slightly apart so I can see the zipper pull. And I'm going to open the zipper, the zipper pull. And now I'm gonna hold these two sides together and this shows me how I have to install my zipper for it to turn out right. So your, the neck of your zipper, which is like right here, is going to go perfectly on that crease that I created on that line. So if you want to think about it another way, it's almost like right side to right side and the, um, the seam allowance to seam allowance, okay? So we do that and now I'm going to go ahead and mark where the zipper is going to start from 
just like right here and where the zipper is going to end which is kind of like right here and it's important to do this because you you want the two sides to be matched exactly when you're done so I'm gonna go ahead refold this just so I can mark it exactly on the other side so I'm going to put the two sides together and then I'm going to mark the other side the bottom side as well so now I've marked the two sides of the garment I'm going to put it aside and then the next thing is remember that to have that seamless invisible finish I want to lay the um I want to lay the stitches just right into that neck and to have access to that neck I actually have to iron the zipper so just watch as I open um, the zipper to expose that neck I'm gonna make sure that my iron is not too hot and I'm gonna go ahead and iron this is a very critical step um, I have gotten good results without doing this but every time you do this you get a much better result because you actually expose that neck so if you notice I'm not ironing directly on the teeth I'm actually ironing on, at the back of the teeth so I'm pushing the teeth down and I'm just ironing at the back of the teeth. Remember tip number one is that you it's best to sew it when your garments are still apart. Tip number two is to mark the beginning and ending of the zipper just uh, on both sides of the garment just so that you have better chance of success. Um, tip number three is you know make sure to mark out your seam allowance and um, create this crease because it will be a very good guide for you um, if you don't want to do that you can also rule a straight line um, on your garment to help as a guide and tip number four is go ahead and iron out the the teeth with the teeth at the back so that you have access to that crease so I'm going to put this Right here I'm going to put the neck right on the line and I'm gonna pin 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 For the regular zipper foot, all you need to do is pop the lever here, which is in uh, most machines. If you just pop it up, the regular zipper foot comes out, and then you can just put this one under it, right on that line, and then you bring down the presser feet, and it picks it up. So that's just that. Which is why this is the easiest one to use and also when you uh, you can bring the in uh, invisible zipper foot the same way and you can just you can just put the presser foot down and you can pop that in just like that and it's very easy to use the one that has a little bit of stem to it that one you need to actually bring this entire system out which means that you need to you need to use a screwdriver to start so remember that we have um, two grooves inside on the underside of the zipper foot right now when I'm sewing the I'm sewing the left side of the garment I'm going to be using the left groove and um, and then the line in the middle is going to help push my zipper teeth to the left So um, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but when you're putting your zipper um, under, when you're putting your zipper under um, the
the zipper teeth just try to use your hand to guide um, the teeth to go into the groove and for the middle line to just sit on top of the teeth. And then if you're, so I'm gonna put down my, uh, my needles a little bit down and if you see that it's difficult to um, to sew or it's hitting the zipper, you can actually use the direction guide to move the needle away from the zipper, but I think this one is working quite fine. And don't forget to back stitch. Okay, so back from the sewing machine, this is what we actually have. It's always good to put it back in the way that it's going to be, just so you assess what you've done. And if there are any mistakes, you know, this will be the best time to correct them. Um, on several projects, I've had to loosen the zip and reattach it, but you want to make sure that if there is any mistake that you correct it at this stage before you move to the next one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zip it here and make sure that I don't have any tread caught in the teeth. It works pretty nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and sew this, um, this side. back from the machine we're done sewing both sides um, I'm just gonna put just like he did the other side and hopefully yes I got it okay so there you go those are the two sides of the zipper sewn I'm just gonna go and pull the zipper closed and you'll see look at that it's perfect so once you've done that um, and it's nice and tight, you can go ahead and iron. And now you have to sew the underside. This is what you will do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin, you know, the two sides together that I wanna sew together. Then we're gonna go to the machine and sew it together and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead now and um, attach the other part of the garment together and to do that, you can use a regular um, sewing thread or you can use a regular zipper thread. And remember a regular zipper thread is the one that has the two grooves for sewing both sides of the garment. It's slightly different from the invisible zipper thread. So you pop it in just like we do the invisible zipper thread and what we want to do is we want to sew very close to the edge and we want to pop up the zipper just like that and then we want to start from where the, the end of the zipper sewing is and then we're sewing all the way down.
Okay, so that is the finished garment. Gonna go ahead and now just iron. Your zipper is done. You're not cutting thread. And guys, that is how you install an invisible zipper and get it right all the time. So, um, you know, watch it and come back to it every time you need to use this technique for any of your projects. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I will see you definitely on the next video. Bye.